When you first start Dwarf Fortress, there is no world to play in. Generating a world can be as easy as setting a few sliders and pressing a couple of keys, but it can get much more complex if you want. This video covers only the basics and points out a few places where to learn more about this topic. To easily generate a world, select Create a new world in the main menu. Be aware of the unfinished state of the game. Also, consider contributing to the wiki or supporting the game's developers and press Escape. This screen shows seven basic world generation parameters. World size, history, number of civilizations, maximum number of sites, number of beasts, natural savagery and mineral occurrence. Each of these can be set to either of five values from very low to very high. The settings are self-explanatory and each of them is described in good detail in the wiki article about world generation. For your very first embarks, when you learn the game mechanics, any setting will do fine. Just keep in mind that large worlds with very long histories and a high number of sites increase the duration of the world generation process considerably. In a long-term gameplay, small worlds are easier to compute and should be preferred on slower computers. The default settings will be as good as any for our tutorial. Such worlds take about 10 minutes to generate. A part of what happens during world generation was said in the introductory video about Dwarf Fortress. You may find that the game first rejects some unsuccessful random configurations before it finds a suitable one for pursuing further. Only then it starts generating the legends. As the generation progresses, you can enjoy watching selected regions evolve over time. Also, take a look at the random name of the world, or some of its regions or towns. If you wish, you can pause or finish the world generation at any time by pressing Enter or Escape respectively. After the set length of the world's history has been generated, the process ends automatically. If you want, you can export the world's map and some information about it. You would find the exported files in the game's directory. Now you decide whether to accept or reject this world. After accepting, the game offloads some units, saves various information and returns to the main menu. Bear in mind that Dwarf Fortress was created in the tradition of roguelike games, which means that whatever happens during gameplay happens permanently. There is no undo, no reloading after a failed attempt. You are allowed to have no more than one ongoing game per world, either Adventure Mode, Fortress Mode or Legends Mode. If, for example, you want to alternate between an ongoing Fortress Mode and an ongoing Adventure Mode, you will have to generate a world for each of them and play them in separate worlds. However, you can play them sequentially in one world. You can roam and explore the world with an adventurer first, and when you discover a site you find interesting, end the adventure mode and embark there in fortress mode. Or vice versa, your adventurer can visit your fallen, abandoned or retired fortresses. One world can host a large number of fortress embarks and adventures. The worlds you generate are saved in numbered region folders in the game's data save subdirectory. When you download a world or a save game, its folder goes in here. Occasionally, you will want to delete your backup save games or unneeded worlds. Simply delete their corresponding folders here. The date and time of the world.save file in such a folder can help you determine when you last saved this. There is much more to world generation than we have covered here. You can find a plethora of other settings you can change in the advanced world generation. The corresponding wiki article gives you an impression of how complex it can get. 
a part of the Dwarf Fortress community, explores and researches the world generation quite thoroughly. They discuss their findings in so-called World Gen Cookbook threads in the Dwarf Mode forums. Go and give it a look if you're interested.